Kevin, my name is Purshid. I am from Uncle K Live TV and Radio. It's a web TV and it's being watched by most of the people surrounding Dubai. And it's especially the expatriates which come from the South Asian and other countries like Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bangladesh. And uh, we are beaming on the radio because these people cannot afford uh, smart mobile. So any mobile can catch this radio. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. are spreading the word, we are only giving them good tidings, how to live together. It's, mm -hmm. If I say it's a peace TV, I'll be exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Nobody can succeed in that. Mm -hmm. That's a vast uh, thing. So when I came here to this stall, we were doing national and uh, Shan and other places. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we are doing the Indian companies, the mm -hmm. British companies, Wait. whoever is doing the food and uh, supermarkets. And Pakistan connected with USA, that intrigued me. Mm -hmm. So, you are doing a great job, you know, when, I'll tell you about 30 years, 30 years back, when they had made the, in Islamabad, the National Assembly building, mm -hmm. I used to, I used to work for Kodak, mm -hmm. and we sold them this data projector at that time. Mm -hmm. So, the American lady there, I asked her, what are you doing here? This is a you know, Pakistani uh, assembly building. She said, we made it for you. Mm -hmm. I said, why? She said, you people don't know democracy. We told them to become democratized. So you said, you make it for us then. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting right there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you are leading us to a better place, but mm -hmm. can't we leave them to stand on their own feet? Mm -hmm. Pakistan is, I think, I was in the Afghan stall also, and they said, USAID has brought us here. They have put yes. everything. Right. So does Pakistan also need that crutch to stand up? Yes. Uh, it's not a political in, in my, question. In my yeah. point of view, yeah. uh, Pakistan is very good at producing the products, but needs to strengthen much more on the marketing and the selling and the logistics and the packaging and things like that. Uh, let me give you one example. Uh, you know what these are, yeah? Oh, okay. I have forgotten the name. Sorry. Yeah. I have forgotten these, the name. Uh, these caused a lot of excitement in Germany okay. because people th think that they're very tiny apples. Okay. And if you think of uh, like a high-end hotel, a boutique bed and breakfast, um, a very high-end, you know, like a Buddha bar here in Dubai, having these tiny little apples are so different, they would fascinate people. It's a unique product. But when they're sold, they're just sold as a commodity product to the no Pakistanis value. and Indians okay. who, who okay. live here because they're familiar with them. Okay. This is called uh, uh, a bear in Urdu. But, oh, bear. Okay, yeah. now I get it. But, so, you but could, it's like an it, apple, you're right. But it's like an apple, but it doesn't have apple seeds inside. It has, it a, has one seed. One seed, yeah. Bear seed, yeah. But this could be a great new product. If people are looking for something new. If you understand the consumer, they will pay a lot of money for something new and different. Your okay? I get you. Your You're on so the right track. Yeah. Uh, the other the, here. The other example. Yeah. These are very sweet and very juicy and larger than most, but they're sold on consignment at a cost basis around harvest time. The packing it was in wooden. And the pack and, and some of the packing is in. And very they good. could not compete in Carrefour here. You know. Mangoes. Yeah. You know you have these very tasty yellow mangoes. Um, Pakistan produces very special things. It has really uh, important possibilities to grow meat and also dairy uh, to export to the Gulf and many other countries. So we're at a very important point, a lot of production capacity, but we're not getting the value in the marketplace. So this project, the agribusiness which I can give you one of these, okay? Yeah, I'll it has it, it has a little bit of background on each of the exhibitors here, okay. each of the producers, okay, who's here? All right. Uh, now, there are other Pakistan producers who are... I'll hold it. Uh, there, there are other Pakistani producers who are here with the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan as, as an area down there. They're doing it on their own. They've been here before. They're perfectly capable of exporting. So our job on this project is to try to bring some new exporters or exporters who have not received help before and come to Dubai, help make the market linkages, help sponsor the space, 
uh, and in future years they will also be doing it on their own. Uh, so, uh, so the whole project is to improve the competitiveness of Pakistani agro-exports, to bring more money into the country, more incomes for farmers, etc. So, so why is the U.S. doing it? Why is the U.S. showing up? Well, as you know, the U.S. government and the Pakistan government have relations going back many, many decades, many years. And there were many development programs, you know, at, you know historically. Around 2004, 2005, seeing the need to collaborate more closely, the, the USAID project started up again. And there have been many development projects. Some promote trade, some promote entrepreneurs, some promote the income of women in productive capacities. Uh, some promote livelihoods in rural areas. This project is promoting agriculture. But unlike many U development projects, this is a Pakistani institution. So the Agribusiness Support Fund is a Pakistani institution. And it is here to help the Pakistani farmers, processors, and agro-exporters. My company, J.E. Austin Associates, has been awarded a contract in open competition by the Agribusiness Support Fund to contribute to market linkages. We've implemented 600 projects so around the world. that's your specialization, Our market linkages. Market linkages, agriculture, agribusiness, other areas of also economic policy, private sector competitiveness, workforce development, areas such as that. But things that, that boost economic growth in a country. So we have been working to promote these market linkages uh, and to work with the industry so that they're able to export. Uh, a lot of it has to do with certifications, a lot of it, but some of it has to do with making the right partners international. No, I agree. Uh, yeah. Kevin, I get your point okay. and I appreciate that, but doesn't it look like uh, you are babysitting these people there? It's no. like a family. They're this thing. babysitting I appreciate me. That. You know, this is like, they're the ones doing the hard work. You know. I, <laughs> See this, this guy here? Yes. Yeah. This, this man in the checkered shirt. He is making a lot of business here. I mean, he, every his, his English know. isn't that great. You know, he's just very unassuming. He's the one actually doing business. People are coming to see him here. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good, good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but all of these people, this fellow is uh, doing, trying to improve meat exports. These guys are doing uh, horticulture. Right. Uh, yeah. Kevin, when you said uh, that the role you played, and we appreciate I'm when I'm saying these things, it's for my viewers. Because these rumors and the propaganda and all, I've been here from 66 in Dubai. Mm -hmm. no, so yeah, I have time. seen the yeah, style, yeah. so my thinking is different. You've seen than Dubai that. change a lot too. And, uh, Sheikh Rashid used to talk to me like this, as if no ego, nothing, as if he's not the ruler. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I appreciate about these people. Mm -hmm. They respect old age and all, this mm -hmm. culture is still there. Yeah. So my viewers, I wanted to tell them that what USAID is doing is a good thing. Only my appeal and my plea as in my age, I've seen the world also. That there is inertia, okay, but in the space, if you just nudge something and then starts rolling. Yes, so exactly. Where, where, what is the state with these people? Will they be able to take over now? Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, there might be one or two that aren't successful, but many of them will be successful. I see momentum here. Uh, there are some, you know, I think they're, they're doing some deals. They're getting to know some new buyers, but they're also learning from the competition, That's walking around here. Because, you know, the, uh, the proof of your product is it can be sold on car four shelves. Mm -hmm. If you can sell there, you can sell anywhere. Because yeah. here the whole world products are here. Which one? Medicine. Medicine? Oh, pharmacy? Rose there is a pharmacy here. Rose huh? No pharmacy. You go to ha no. before hall number 8, there is ambulance and Asia, medical. Asia department. No idea. No idea. So sorry. Sorry, Amadeh. So, that's what it is. I won't take a lot of your time. We have promised it will be five minutes only. No, I said I had to wait for five minutes to finish no, my... No, we also think, said that okay. we'll take only five okay. minutes for okay. the interview. Yeah. So two of them have given me their card, so let me also Okay, yeah, that's in the list of everybody also. is here. Yeah, yeah. no, they, they, these three this people... Is, uh, the yes, that was I The commercial it. minister was there as well, talking about it. Finance minister? The, the, commercial, the, the commercial attaché here in Dubai. Okay, I would like to interview him. Also. That's him there. Okay. Uh, 
So he is, uh, he is responsible for trying to boost so the So Kevin, uh, God bless you okay. and your country for the help they are giving us. I always, when I say these things, my viewers would think, okay, where is this guy leaning to? There is no politics in anything. If we want to be respected, we have to respect ourselves. We have to come up to that. If America looks the other way, it's human nature. Mm -hmm. You have to come to that standard to be respected. By and I think they are coming to that state. Yeah. It will be. You know, I'm from California, okay. which is a big agricultural state. Okay. Uh, you know, University of California, Davis has, you know, all... Is that well the known. area where you have the Hollywood and these uh, yes, uh, uh, celebrities and all? Yeah, that's in Southern California by okay. the ocean. Okay. But inland you have these big valleys, okay. highly productive. Uh, okay. Fruits, vegetables, cotton. Your oranges are famous, oranges I think, from there? Oranges in California okay. also, yeah. And the apple is not from there? That's from Washington. From Washington. Yeah, Washington State. Not State. The city. Okay. So, um, I think, you know, to share expertise together, uh, but in the future, the growth was going to come from developing countries like Pakistan. Pakistan has so much productive potential and, but, and so much productivity growth is possible as well. Yeah, but one lead they have over you. I'm not comparing you to you. I have a vast... Yeah, you just yeah, that yeah. one, you know, the, the, the thresher can market up in half of the area of Pakistan. It was a huge machine that you have there. But Pakistan has one over you. They are mostly organic. Exactly. They still use cow dung and all these, and that is fertilizer. It's organic product, and, yeah. and they're very special. They have special qualities. So we have to let we have to make the world aware of these. And things. I hope yeah. they have been hospitable to you, and you yeah, also course, yeah. love them. You know, I've been going to Pakistan since 1986. Okay, and you I have would, been to the I, mountainous area. I helped area? train the faculty of the Lahore University of Management Science slums years ago. Very good. From Harvard Business School, we were asked to come over and train and. Syed Babar Ali, the founder of LUMS, to train the faculty of, of LUMS. And uh, yeah, I've been going to So, Pakistan Kevin, for many you, years. I hope you will not find us thankless people. We appreciate the, whoever gives us. Pakistani are the most hospitable people. Oh, thank most you. Thank you. I hope my listeners will uh, observe this. Thank you.